India is now a favorite investment destination, says Prime Minister Modi at Fintech Fest. Financial inclusion is a reality for Indians. Justice Sanjay Karol takes over as the new Chief Justice of Tripura High Court after being sworn in by Governor at Raj Bhavan. India pays tributes to Pandit Nehru on his 129th birthday anniversary, observes occasions as Children's Day, Northeast joins the nation. Northeast Students' Organization, unhappy with Citizens' Amendment Bill, announces educational programs from November 20th. And 64th National School Games in Fencing gets underway in Manipur. Chief Minister N. Biren calls it a common platform to promote brotherhood. Good evening and welcome to the Northeast News. This is Hansraj and now the news in details. Financial inclusion has become a reality for 1.3 billion Indians, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said on Wednesday as he pitched India as a favorite investment destination at the FinTech Festival in Singapore. Speaking at the world's largest event on financial technology, the Prime Minister said technology has transformed governance and delivery of public services in India and unleashed innovation, hope and opportunities. Technology is defining competitiveness and power in the new world and it is creating boundless opportunities to transform lives, Modi said as he began his two-day visit to the country. It has empowered the weak and brought into mainstream those who were on the margins. It has made economic access more democratic, he said in his keynote address at the Singapore FinTech Summit. Payment saves time. It adds to a huge national saving. It is increasing productivity of individuals and our economy. Digital payments are a gateway to a world of possibilities. We can use FinTech to ensure that no dream remains unfulfilled and no enterprise remains still born because of lack of access to Justice Sanjay Karol was sworn in on Wednesday as the fourth Chief Justice of the Tripura High Court. State Governor Professor Kaptan Singh Solanki administered the oath of office and secrecy to the newly appointed Chief Justice at the Darbar Hall of Ol Raj Bhavan. Chief Minister Biplop Kumar Deb, Justice Subhashis, Talapatra and other high officials were present at the swearing-in ceremony. Justice Sanjay Karol had served as the Advocate General of Himachal Pradesh between 1998 and 2003. In March 2007, he was appointed as the Chief Justice of Himachal Pradesh. The nation remembered the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, on his 129th birth anniversary on Wednesday. The day is also being celebrated as Children's Day. President Ramnath Kovind, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tributes to Pandit Nehru on the occasion. In a tweet, Modi said, and I quote, We recall his contribution to our freedom struggle and during his tenure as Prime Minister. In Assam, Chief Minister Harbananda Hunwal on Wednesday said children are the future of a nation. Addressing a Children's Day function organized by the Social Welfare Department at District Library, the Chief Minister urged the parents to be careful while their children use mobile phones as a precaution against a rising incidence of cybercrime. Attending the program, Social Welfare Minister Pramila Rani Brahmo said children are the future citizens of the country. <laughs> <laughs> Along with the rest of the country, Children's Day was observed in Manipur on the occasion of the 129th birth anniversary of the former Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Attending a program at the auditorium of Tribal Research Institute, Singh Merong, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh expressed a serious concern on the rising trend of drug abuse among young people. He asked the authorities concerned civil society organizations and NGOs to find out the root cause of the problem and ways to solve it. In Tripura also, Children's Day is being celebrated throughout the state. In Agartala, Chief Minister Biplop Kumar Dev inaugurated a rally of school children at Umakanta Stadium. Addressing the gathering, the Chief Minister said that under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the country's scenario has changed. 
there is a glorious field for the upcoming generations. He appealed to the guardians and teachers to take care of the children. On the other hand, Education Minister Ratan Lal Nath, along with high government officials, paid floral tributes to Nehru's statue in the main program. In Assam, the Northeast Students Organization, NESO, comprising of the Khasi Students Union, All Assam Students Union, Naga Students Union, Mizo Jirlai Paul, Tipra Students Federation, All Manipur Students Union, Garu Students Union, and All Arunachal Pradesh Students Union, representing eight major students' movements of the seven states of the Northeast region, on Wednesday announced a new agitational programs from November 20th against the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016. It has demanded total withdrawal of the Bill 2016 imposed by the Government of India on the people of the region to protect the interests of the illegal Bangladeshis. It was informed at a press meet in Guwahati by Neso President Samuel Jera and Secretary General Sinam Prakash Singh. In a related development in Assam, the state unit of the Bharatiya Janata Party on Wednesday said it will never allow Assam to be another Tripura, but it will also fight tooth and nail any conspiracy to make Assam a second Kashmir. Addressing a press meet in Guwahati, BJP spokesman Jayanta Molla Borua said parties like the Congress and AIUDF are trying to divert attention from the issue of Muslim infiltration from Bangladesh by focusing their attention on the issue of Hindu Bangladeshis. Tripura Governor Kaptan Singh Solanki on Wednesday flagged off a rally in Agartala on the occasion of the World Diabetes Day. Awareness campaigns in various parts of the state were organized on the day. Thousands in Tripura are suffering from the lifestyle. Assam also joined the rest of the globe on Wednesday in observing the World Diabetes Day. On the occasion, various non-governmental organizations organized awareness campaign about the disease. The National Health Mission, joined by the Piramal Health Mission and Research Institute, took out a rally in Guwahati. On the other hand, the Sun Valley Hospital also carried out an awareness campaign in the city on the day. In Manipur, a ban on eight rebel groups in the state has been extended by the government for five more years for their continued involvement in unlawful and violent activities, the Union Home Ministry said on Tuesday. The groups have openly declared their objectives of formation of an independent Manipur by seceding from India, employing and engaging in armed means to achieve their goal, besides attacking security forces, police and government employees, it said. The organizations banned under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act include the People's Liberation Army, PLA, and its political wing, Revolutionary People's Front. In Manipur, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh on Tuesday inaugurated the 64th National School Games in Fencing at Indoor Stadium Khuman Lampak. The Chief Minister exhorted the players to serve the games as a common platform for excelling and bringing a sense of oneness and brotherhood. Altogether, 19 teams from 15 states and two union territories are participating in the meet. 730 fencers will aim at the medal glory during the four-day event. Tripura Chief Minister Biplav Kumar Dev will inaugurate the 6th and Northeast Youth Festival 2018 at Children's Park Agartala tomorrow, 15th and presence of hundreds of participants from eight states of the region. Briefing to media on Tuesday evening at the Secretariat, Agartala Sports and Youth Affairs Minister Manoj Kanti Deb said a colorful rally will be organized to mark the occasion. The participants will be from all over the country, including the Seven Sisters. He said, thousand participants from Assam, Sikkim, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur and Tripura will join the Youth Festival. 
Along with sporting events, the festival will see cultural events including folk music, dance, martial arts, adventure sports and handicraft shows. And now the weather report. Satellite imagery of the North East says that weather will be mainly dry over the region with isolated rain over Onasala, Assam and Meghala during the next 24 hours. The temperatures recorded today at some of the state capitals of the region are as follows. Guwahati recorded a maximum of 30.1 degrees Celsius, a minimum of 17.3 degrees Celsius. Itanaga 30.8 and 18. Koima 22.2 and 11. Imphal 25.4 and 8.9. Aizal 30.7 and 12.3. Agatala 29.5 and 17, Shillong 16.6 and 9.2, and Gangtok recorded a maximum of 15 degrees Celsius, a minimum of 10 degrees Celsius. And before winding up, the headlines once again. India is now a favorite investment destination, says Prime Minister Modi at FinTech Fest. Financial inclusion is a reality for Indians. Justice Sajjai Karol takes over as the new Chief Justice of Tripura High Court after being sworn in by Governor at Raj Bhavan. India pays tributes to Pandit Nehru on his 129th birth anniversary. Observes occasion at Children's Day, Northeast joins the nation. Northeast Students' Organization Unhappy with Citizens' Amendment Bill announces educational programs from November 20th. And 64th National School Games in Fencing gets underway in Manipur. Chief Minister N. Biren calls it a common platform to promote brotherhood. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.